All right, so the number one biggest mistake that you can ever make during the launch of a new game is not learn anything at all for yourself about the game. Hug, what the hell are you talking about? Well, I'm fixing to tell you. So how about it, y'all? You got Hog. I'm your Southern Diablo 4 resource. Thanks for stopping by. So this is something I wanted to point out. I'm not seeing anybody uh, talk about this. And it's obviously why, because it would kind of be detrimental to a content creator telling you, don't follow my stuff, don't watch or whatever. But it needs to be said, okay? Y'all, you got to learn the game. So if you remember my, uh, my Max Roll video from about six months ago where I was talking about don't be so reliant on the guide. And a lot of y'all got butthurt about it. Well, not y'all probably, but a lot of people that watched it got butthurt about it saying I didn't know what I was talking about. La la la. The whole point of that video was to tell you that Max Roll's a tool. Okay? It's just like these pair of scissors right here. It's a tool. Okay? And it's just like this little teeny screwdriver. It's a damn tool. If I don't know how to operate said screwdriver to get the end result that I'm trying to, to accomplish with this tool, it's useless, right? You got to use it. You got to have the knowledge necessary to use the tool properly, correct? Okay, so that's my point. Now, we have a brand new game that's in pre-release. By relying on other people's videos all the time, I'm not saying don't watch that, right? But I'm what I'm saying is if you get reliant on watching somebody's stuff all the time, You'll never do well. It's like going fishing. If you teach a man to fish, he can catch fish all the time. But if you feed him a fish, he's going to sit there like this, waiting for his hand out every time. And you don't want to be that guy in the game. So the season doesn't start for like, probably, let, let's be real, guys. It probably ain't going to start for six months. Season's going to be six months. Um... Game hadn't even come out yet. We hadn't even experienced anything. There's no competition for anything right now. There's no leaderboards. There's no season. There's no special event. There's no nothing going on. Right now is the time to pull up your planners, pull up your max rolls, pull up your icy veins, pull up all these resources that are here right now for us to use and actually understand what works with the bit with the class that you're wanting to pick so understand how if we're looking at druid understand how claw works with rabies and poison damage and other things like that understand how wind shear can work with vulnerabilities and you, you get what i'm saying but you need to understand how everything works that's how you become a good player now of course you're not going to be a pro player because there's only certain people that are allowed to be pro. They got to have over a hundred thousand subs and say they're pro to be pro. Um, but this is the same thing that they're using. Okay. All they're doing is the same thing that you're doing. They're sitting down and they're looking at everything. They're not playing the game secretly that we don't know about and getting a head start. They're just theory crafting just like everybody else is. So get on that train and understand how, how to theory craft. And if you don't know what that is, Okay, you just play with it. There's no real way to teach you how to theory craft besides look how things synergize with each other. Example would be Fierce Claw, okay? 10.2 poison and damage over six seconds, and then you can pair that with, eh, let's come down here and enhance Wolf Pack. Wolves deal 20% increased damage to immobilized stun slower poison enemies. That's just a perfect example up there oh okay i could take claw on it can enhance with enhanced wolf pack and the poison damage okay very small example that's how you theory craft so i'm not saying don't watch this guy these guys stuff because obviously you're going to we're all going to it's just a lot better if you go watch their video and you see let's say they're taking ancestral fortitude and you're not taking that for a similar build if you understand how your character works then you you're not sitting there going Huh, well, I wonder why he's taking that. You already know why he's taking that. Go ahead and build yourself a foundation right now because you don't want to be trying to play and catch up when everybody else is in season and you're not understanding how basic mechanics of the game work. 
So that's all I'm saying. It's not trying to be a negative video. I'm just a friendly reminder to everybody. Do your homework a little bit. Make sure you study how the basis of your skills and your character work together and then the other aspects and items. And then once you've understood that, then you really should dive in and start messing with the Paragon trees because um, this intelligence and willpower, they all do different things for different characters. So you need to look into that as well. Understand what strength does for a druid versus what strength does for a barbarian versus what strength does for a rogue, per se. Understand how all those work, and you'll be a deadly force to reckon with when Diablo 4 comes and launches in June. If y'all need a community to run with, the House for Hog, we ain't mildly wild over there. Link's in the description for my Discord. Uh, that's how you also get access to my clan, Plebs for Life. We are carrying that over from Diablo 3. We were, uh, even though we kind of started a little bit late towards the end of the seasons there, uh, we did have a pretty badass clan. Love for you to be a part of that. If you can actually get in with the 150 spots, there's a way to get guaranteed spots on that as well. So, uh, Y'all, please hit like and subscribe if you like my Diablo 4 content. We are going to start getting back into serious mode. and I know we've all been going a little stir crazy because there's literally been nothing to talk about, but... Uh, we got Server Slam coming up. We got the developer live stream coming up um, on the tenth, so you can watch that here as well. Um, we will be live streaming the live stream, so be here about 1:45 Eastern time, and we'll start that up on Wednesday the tenth. Um, and so, like I said, Server Slam's coming up Friday. We'll get two days to play, and then it'll be two more weeks of us crying, and the game will launch again. So, again, use your time wisely. Make sure to hit like and subscribe if you like my Diablo 4 content. We'll see y'all next time.